Hello people, I'm Jenny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. Today's video is a bit more psychically inclined than my normal videos and I am looking at psychic blocks, whether you have one and what you can do about it. So this video has pretty much come about because a load of people I have had recent sessions with have had psychic blocks on them. And after a bit of looking into it, I have realised it's actually just coincident, but there was quite a high percentage of people. This got me thinking that I probably need to tell you whether you have a psychic block. If you are psychically intuitive, you might well have one. So with that said, let's have a quick look at what is a psychic block. Well, if you imagine that your body and your mind are obviously interconnected with one another, and you have this aura around you, it is this aura, this prana, this magical magnetism that enables, say, a deaf person to know that somebody else has walked into the room, even though they can't see them and they certainly can't hear them. This is what I'm talking about. So having a psychic block is a bit like standing inside an opaque glass box. So you can't really see out of it. You can see shadows going through and you're aware that things are sort of happening outside the box that you're standing in, but you don't know what they are. That is what essentially a psychic block does. It stops you being able to connect with the outside. How do you know if you have got a psychic block on you? Well, you would probably feel that there is something going on, but you don't know what, and you're very confused, and you can't reach it. You would probably feel that there is more to what is happening in your life than you can see, feel, and hear. But it's a vague feeling, this. It is very vague. So you would feel that you're quite intuitive, but you're not getting anywhere. You might know that you're intuitive as a person, yet you cannot get the meanings from, say, tarot cards or any other cards for that matter. This is generally a sign that you have a psychic block on you. You feel that you have got more magical ability than you're able to actually use. And it's a bit of frustration will be in there and a bit of unease and maybe a bit of, I don't know, why can't I do this? Now, this leads us on to why would you have a psychic block on you? There is a couple of reasons. And the first reason is the most common. It's been put there by your parents, namely and mostly your mother. The reason why they might have done this is either consciously or unconsciously, mostly consciously, may I say, that mothers have done this to their children, is because they don't want them to see the natural world as it really is, because it can be quite terrifying for children to see that. If you're a natural spirit medium, you might be able to see natural ghosts, and they are scary. So a parent would put a block upon their children to keep them safe. And this is great until the child grows up and then they're blocked and it's not working for them. It's like putting a child in a cage and then they grow up and they're too big for the cage. You need to let them out. And so I always advocate blocks to be removed. The second reason that you might have a psychic block upon you is because you've put it there. Sometimes people, especially in their teenage years, will have a traumatic and psychic experience where they will see something terrifying. And so they will naturally block themselves from seeing any further terrifying psychic experiences. So have you got a psychic block on you? If you have, what can you do about it? I have taken a lot of psychic blocks from people and it is a highly specialised work and so I don't know is the answer unless you're standing in front of me. But the most common method that I used to take psychic blocks off other people is the following. This may or may not work for you, that's the trouble. If it doesn't work for you, you just have to come and see me and I'll help you take it off because it very much depends on the person. But here is the basic method. So first of all, we're going to cast a circle. 
So the circle we're going to cast is a circle of protection. Let nothing that can cause me harm be allowed within this circle. And I want you to cast that as wide as you can about the room that you're standing in. Now, come to the centre of the circle and I want you to cast a smaller circle around the area that you're sitting or standing in. And this circle is a circle of power. So you're going to cast a circle saying, I cast this circle to help me remove my psychic block. So far, so good. What the psychic block circle does is simply power up your intent. It gives an extra boost of energy to the psychic block and removal. And now to remove it, get your stick and smudge it round yourself. I want to see practically the whole of your body covered in smoke. The more smoke you have, the merrier. This is cleansing smoke. It's going to release the anchors that the psychic block has onto you. So that's what we're doing. It's just going to loosen off those anchors. How do you now remove the psychic block that you've got on you? The psychic block is covering every single part of your body inside and out. So we need to grab the block from the inside of your body. So this is where a visualisation technique comes in. I want you to imagine that you're pulling out from your body all the bits of psychic block that are in every single cell. I want you to start at your feet and I want you to work up. So go around your feet and pull out those bits of blocks. Pull out them out from your legs, from your knees, from your thighs, hips, tummy, chest, shoulders, head. The next part is you need to get rid of the remnants of the psychic block that are outside your body. People do this in different ways and it is a visualisation technique. You can either visualise that you're untying bits of armour, because that's essentially what it is, isn't it, and physically taking them off each part of your body. Some people like to visualise that they're smashing the glass case that their body is surrounded in. Other people like to smudge it away. Again, you can double smudge to get rid of this psychic block. It is very much up to you. If you don't know which method to use, go with which feels the most comfortable. Now, this is not a foolproof method for removing psychic blocks. I wish it was. It would make everybody's lives so much better. If no one has a psychic block, we'd all be so much more in tune and understand what is actually going on in the world. If you are having problems, I don't really know actually what to say apart from come and see me and I'll help you because that I'm very good at. Let me know in the comments if you think you've got a psychic block and what the symptoms are. I would be most interested to know. Well, how do you know if you've now removed this psychic block? You've done as I have suggested. How can you be sure that it's gone? Well, you should feel a bit better. You should feel a lighter. That's the first indication that you've got rid of a psychic block. B, you should feel that your intuition, it feels like it's being switched on. I would recommend pulling three tarot cards, for example, and intuitively don't use the book reading what you think they say. And the third reason that you might feel that the block has been removed is that you just know and you know it's gone. When I tell someone they've got a psychic block on them, they'll all go, oh, I thought I did. They pretty much already knew. But they need somebody like me to say, look, you've got a psychic block on you, we need to take it off. So you will know, and you will know when it's been removed. And that's a bit wishy-washy, and I'm really sorry, because normally I like to be really defined on magic, because it really helps people to, you know, perform their magic to the best of their ability. But on this one, sadly, I can't. You'll just have to come to me if you're unsure. That's the only thing I can say. Don't forget my cover meetings happening next week, and go to Patreon for all the details. And in the meantime, please don't forget to like and subscribe because I really need your likes and subscribes to keep my channel going and I will see you in a few days. <laughs>